Are you looking to improve your credit score quickly? Well, in this episode, I'm going to share with you nine ways on how you can do that. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. I'm going to be sharing with you nine ways on how you can improve your credit scores dramatically and quickly, quite honestly. Uh, we don't want to wait forever for those scores to go up. Okay, now before we dive into this though, if you can go ahead and follow me on social media, uh, those links are in the description below. And if you can do me another favor and go to my website, it's allaboutthereelestate.com where you can uh, fill out the pop-up form uh, to receive this episode uh, and other episodes uh, and brand new episodes weekly in your email so you don't miss out. Um, so this is a great, great topic. I get asked this often and I said, you know what? Let's do an updated video because I have answered this question in, the, in a former episode. Um, I'll actually link that in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share with you nine ways on how you can improve your credit scores fast. Now, number one, pay credit card balances uh, strategically. So be smart about how you pay your credit card balances. Um, the general rule is you wanna use about 30% of what your available balance is or less. Now, in a, in a perfect world, right, that might happen a lot, uh, but many times people use too much credit. But the more you pay down your balance compared to what's available, the higher your scores will go up and you will see that fairly quick. That will take effect quick, okay? We have three credit bureaus that report a score uh, and so that will go to all three of them, okay? Uh, number two is ask for higher credit limits. Again, the more available balance you have, not that you should go out there and get all kinds of credit, but the more available balance you have, the higher your scores will go because it will show that you're not maxing out. You don't want the credit bureaus to think that you're maxing out. Okay, so you can call some of your credit card companies or all of them and just ask for uh, a higher available credit amount. Even if you don't use it, it will affect your scores positively, okay? Um, I, I, I just, I can't stress that enough. Okay. And by the way, once that high, those higher limits are reported to the bureaus, you're going to see your credit score go up. It, it, it could be 30 or 45 days. Pretty cool. Now, number three, become an authorized user. This is a great tip. If you have a teenager that is getting older, uh, they're approaching the age of 18 when one, you want them to have a credit card for emergencies or if they're out with friends and they have to purchase something. Um, as long as you pay it off quick. Um, but you can become an authorized user uh, with a relative or a friend. I recommend this short term though. Uh, that will give, that will help raise your credit limit and therefore your bureaus will see you as a, a more responsible uh, borrower, credit holder, okay? Um, it's, and it's a high potential of increasing your scores. Again, fairly quick. I mean, every 30 days, uh, things get reported to the credit bureaus, okay? Um, that's pretty cool. So number four, pay your bills on time. This is, this should be a no brainer unless you're going through hardship, but you know, try to pay things on time. If you think you're gonna be late, call the account holder, uh, whether it's a credit card or the bank on a personal loan or an auto loan, whatever it is, uh, and try to work out something with them. But if you get past, you know, 30 days late, 90 days late, I mean, that's really going to hurt you, okay? Now, a delinquent payment will hang out on your credit report for a while. However, try to pay things on time and make it happen. Number five, dispute credit report errors. When you look at your credit report, okay, which again, annualcreditreport.com will allow you to view your credit reports. Uh, you wanna make sure that you dispute any errors. Sometimes errors happen. I've seen it when I was on the lending side of the real estate industry where um, somebody said, well, why is, is this error on my credit report? Well, it could be a mistake, right? So you wanna make sure that you don't have any errors on your credit report pulling your scores down. That's why once a year have them checked. Okay, actually, I'm gonna make a note for myself too. It's easy to forget, but put it in your calendar, your planner, whatever you gotta do, okay? Number six, deal with any collection accounts. If you if you have any collections, re collections reps calling you or any, any uh, you know, 
accounts that are going to to or are in collections or about to go into collections take care of it that will remove the threat and it will send your credit score higher okay um collections are they throw a huge negative mark on your uh, credit reports so um some recent credit report collection models okay fico models they call it uh will actually ignore paid off collections so you want to make sure that you just pay this off however it's a process each credit bureau by the way has a dispute form or a, a process on their website that you can dispute a form uh, that process takes a little bit longer however they will look at it uh fairly quick and hopefully make that adjustment uh, but you just gotta back up why it's an error okay number seven use a secured credit card secure credit cards are great i used to always recommend it and actually i still do it if somebody asked me this but when i was working with with first-time home buyers when i was offering mortgages uh it was something a secured credit card was a great way to establish credit for somebody especially if they're really young and they are uh looking to establish credit even if you're looking to reestablish credit, okay? And a secured credit card is a credit card that is attached to, let's say, a checking account or a savings account. And so you, most of the time, lend, uh, banks will want you to start off with, let's say, $300 or $500. That's what your available balance is on your credit card. The benefit of this is you will get approved, okay? And it will report on your credit. So if you borrow, let's say $100, okay, pay it off quick, you're helping build build credit and improve your current scores. So secure credit cards are awesome, in my opinion. Um, I typically see credit unions offering these, although I believe all banks do, uh, but just make sure that you know all the terms, uh, but they're really good for uh, establishing credit and rebuilding credit, improving those scores fast, okay? Now, uh, number eight, get credit for rent and utility payments. Um, again, when I was in lendings, many times people were paying rent and they wanted to buy a house and they said, well, you know, I'm paying X amount in rent per month, but the landlord wasn't reporting it. Ask the landlord to report your actual rent payments. Now, utility payments as well, right? Heating and all that, uh, en energy bill. Uh, in my state of Michigan, I don't know if this is across the country, but in my state of Michigan, um, uh, the energy, energy companies now or have been reporting in recent years to the credit bureau, which is a great thing. Uh, now, now they're also doing that because they want people to make their payments and not just feel that they can just walk away without paying um, their energy payment. Okay, uh, but it, it's still a benefit to people who rent because it will show an account on your credit history. Okay, now. Doesn't take much to, to much time to really implement this. Just make a call to your landlord and say, hey, can you report my rent payments to the credit bureaus? Number nine, the last one, uh, add to your credit mix. So it's important to have different types of things. Don't just have credit cards. Uh, maybe take uh, an installment loan, which is a fixed term, like a five-year loan, three-year loan, right? Um, you know, it's typically unsecured. Uh, an auto loan payment is a secured uh, you know, because they can take your car if you don't pay the payment, but that's typically an installment loan. Have different things in the works. When someone gets a mortgage, it looks awesome on your credit report, provided you're paying it on time, because that's huge. And it's typically the largest payment that you have, that someone has. But you wanna have a mix of different loans. You wanna have, you know, personal loan, uh, credit card. Um, the auto loan, sure, okay? And you can pay these things off, but it just having a diverse amount of credit on your credit report will actually help improve your scores. So um, yes, it will take time to research certain things and you know, whatnot. Uh, however, you should just have different types of credit. So these are just nine tips that I put together for you to help you improve your credit scores. Um, you know, it's it, these are pretty simple things that you can do. I'd love to hear your thoughts, uh, actually share your thoughts about improving your scores. Have you done something uh, that has helped your scores? Did I miss something here in this episode? Go ahead and share that in the comments below. Otherwise, I'd love your general thoughts. So definitely share that. So I hope you guys found this valuable. I appreciate all of you watching this episode and I hope that you implement some of these. And if you do, 
then share your success story as well. I just would love to hear from uh, you about whether or not you implemented these tips, whether you whether you learned it here on this episode or in the past and you've done it, it worked for you, that'd be great. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to visit my website. It's allaboutthereelestate.com. Follow me on social media. Those links are in the description below. I appreciate you watching. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of the Ask Jason Jolia Show. Be sure to visit the links in the description below to pick up your copy of my real estate book, Think Like a Realtor. It's a little book about buying and selling residential real estate through the eyes of a realtor. It's real world advice, tips, uh, whether you're a new agent in the business or you are a home buyer or even looking to sell a home, this is great advice. So I really appreciate it. If you guys visit those links, pick up your copy. Uh, and go ahead and share a review, uh, good or bad, if you like it, if you hate it, okay? But get your copy today. Thank you.